Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Feel and Feel with Coach Foy, episode 19. Very excited to be back with y'all for a new workout. Now, I heard last week my two guests, I was here, kept calling me out, kept saying, you know, Coach Foy, when are you going to get fit again? How come you never do the exercises anymore with the class? So today, it's just going to be me. I took their challenge. I'm going to work out with you today. No special guests, just you, me, and that's it. All right, so we're going to work hard. We'll still have some fun. Maybe the other characters will be back next week, but for now, you got to stick with me. All right, so just like old times, I have two quotes for you today. All right, one's from an outside source and one's from me. All right, so the first quote is from a man named Joe Girard, and here's what he said. He said, the elevator to success is out of order. You'll have to use the stairs one step at a time. So what does that mean? It means there's no easy way to achieve things. You got to work hard. You got to do steps in order. You got to take it one step at a time with no shortcuts. If you want to be successful, you got to work hard. So that's what we're going to do here today. We're, we're going to take it one step at a time, one exercise at a time, and we're going to work hard. And then the quote from me I'm sure a lot of my students have heard me use it a ton of times in PE class, and I mainly say it when we're walking back to class. And here's the quote. If you moved any slower, you'd be going backwards. All right? And I tell that to them, there's always two kids in the line that are way behind the line because they're walking so slow. And it's almost like they're going backwards. All right? So when you move, you want to move with a purpose. You want to move. All right? So when we're doing these exercises today, you don't have to go crazy fast, but move with a purpose. Don't go in slow motion or it's not going to do you any good, all right? So don't move so slow, it looks like you're going backwards, all right? So I have 10 exercises for you today. We're going to do them all one time through. Before I do, pause your video. Click on that subscribe button if you have not done so already. It is free. It lets you know when I put out new videos or new messages, all right? So pause the video, click subscribe. Another thing, I just got on TikTok. I, kind of, I finally figured out what TikTok is, and so I've been posting different videos on there starting last week. My name on TikTok is Coach Foy, so go look me up on there. I have some funny and fun videos on there. I'm also on Twitter at pfoy3. All right, so there's a lot of different ways you can stay connected with Feel and Feel with Coach Foy, but please click that subscribe button before you get started. All right, y'all ready? Let's roll. All right, everybody, so exercise number one is a new one for us today. These are called step-ups. So what you're gonna need for this exercise is either a bench, like I brought my bench over here, but if you don't have a bench, it's no big deal. You can use a chair or some kind of sturdy box that you can step on. So these are called step-ups. And we're gonna do this for one minute. So you start with either leg, you step up, you can lift the other leg up, down, and switch legs. This is a good leg exercise, working your thigh or quad muscles. So before you get started, pause the video, go find you a bench, a chair, something to step on, okay? All right, so we're gonna do this for 60 seconds, alternating legs. Everybody ready in three, two, one, here we go. So step up, back down, and then switch legs. Just like this, nice and easy. Go at your own pace. But don't go so slow, it looks like you're going in reverse, okay? Try to push yourself. Remember to breathe. Keep that back straight. Hope everybody's been doing okay. Almost time for summer. The finish line for school is almost there. So keep working hard. Keep doing your assignments. Listening to your parents, hopefully. Keep going, almost there. Good job, everybody. I had to prove to my friends, Eugene and Chet and Chico and Harold, that I can still work out. It's been a long time since I've been with y'all, so I wanted to come back. We got five seconds, almost there. One more time. Good job. All right, y'all, great job. Exercise number two, you're gonna need some cans again. So hopefully you have cans available, so pause the video, get you some cans. And so I have my classic white potatoes. I've always had these for a long time. And then I have my premium cheddar. So those are gonna be my cans today. 
So this exercise is going to be a combination exercise. It's going to be a shoulder and tricep. The triceps are your muscles right here, all right? So you're going to hold them right here, you're going to press up, and you're going to bend your elbows back. So from the side, you go up, bend, back up, down, like that, all right? So we're going to do this for 45 seconds. So everybody get ready. Here we go in three, two, one. Here we go. So up, bend those elbows, back down. Try to bend your elbows. Try to work a little combination of different muscles. Keep going, y'all. Doing good. Breathe. I think my students will be proud to know that I figured out TikTok. It is kind of, I am kind of old for it, but I have figured it out very slowly. Try to go in there and find some of my videos. Keep going everybody, five seconds. Let's do one more push through and stop. Great job everybody. Exercise number three is a new one. These are called shoulder taps. And it's gonna be exercises working our arms and our core muscles. So you're gonna be on a position like this, and you're gonna go left arm up to tap your right shoulder. So it's tap, tap. Just tapping those shoulders, keep your back straight. All right, we're gonna do that for 45 seconds. So everybody get down in three, two, one, here we go. So it's just tap, tap. You gotta breathe. Doing good. Good exercise to get that core in shape. You can kind of rock with it a little bit, but just keep your back straight. Good job, everybody. Hopefully, Harold and Uncle Chico are watching this right now, taking notes on how to properly work out. And calling them out. Maybe I'll work out with them next time. Three, two, one, good job. All right, great job everybody. Another new exercise for you. It's gonna be a combination exercise for your legs. It's gonna be a squat lunge combination. So I'm gonna be here, I'm going to squat, jump up, lunge, lunge, squat, lunge, lunge, all right? If you need to go slow so you don't lose your balance, that's fine. We're gonna do it for 45 seconds, so I'm already out of breath. Here we go in three, two, one. So squat, lunge, lunge. Squat, lunge, lunge. There you go, go at your own pace. Keep your balance. You need to slow down, that's fine. job. I am feeling it. I'm not lying. I'm getting tired, but I gotta keep going. Come on, y'all. Push through. Almost there. One more time for lunges. Good job. Wow. All right, cruising right along. We're on exercise number five already. Before we get started, I am happy to announce that Uncle Chico finally got his van off of my property. So when I invited him a few weeks ago to come work out, I had no idea that he would just be staying here forever. So it kind of got a little awkward. I kind of had to say, you know, hey man, I like you and all, but you gotta go. So I'm not really sure where he is with his van, if he went back to where he's from in Boise, Idaho, or if he's just wandering around Baton Rouge in his van. So if you see Uncle Chico in kind of an older looking van, yeah, I, I wouldn't tell him where you live because you might try to park his van there, all right? But I'm just happy that, that he's not in front of my house anymore. So this next exercise anyway is an ab exercise. So you're going to be on the ground. Your hands are going to go under your bottom. Legs are straight. You can go in and up like that, all right? So we're going to do this for 45 seconds. Everybody get down. We're going to go in three. Two, one, here we go. This is, and then up. Out, in, up. 
out and up. Try to lift that lower back off the ground. Great exercise for your lower abdominal muscles. When you get old like me, start to build fat in your belly. And most people don't like fat on their belly, so this is a good way to get the fat off your belly. Combined with a good diet, of course. So just make sure you know, just because you exercise a lot, doesn't mean you can eat whatever you want. If you eat McDonald's all day and then you go exercise for 30 minutes, it's not gonna do any good. You gotta eat right too. You gotta have a combination of good diet, good exercise. Almost there, five seconds. And stop. All right, so number six is what we call uneven push-ups. Now before we get started with this, Let's talk about Harold Schwarzenegger for a second. So he claims to be so strong. And I'm pretty sure I remember watching that push-up challenge. He barely did like 40 push-ups without stopping. How is he that strong and can only do like 40 push-ups without stopping? Anyway, just wanted to throw that out there for Harold because I'm sure he's watching. Harold, you're not that strong. Anyway, for these push-ups, we're gonna do 10 both ways. So for the first way, you're gonna put your left hand in front, your right hand back like that, so they're uneven, all right? And so you're gonna do a push-up with your hands like that. So it's just like that, all right? And then we'll do 10 the other way. Your right hand's in front, left hand's back, like that, all right? It's a good way to work your triceps when you do push-ups. All right, so we're gonna do 10 each way. I'm gonna go with my left hand up front first. Let's get started. Here we go. Three, two, one. So it's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. All right, let's switch. Right hand in front, left hand back. Ten push ups. Here we go. Three, two, one. Two, four, six, eight, and 10, good job. All right, good job everybody. So for this next exercise, you're gonna need your cans again. So go ahead and grab your cans. This is a new one, we haven't done this one yet. So I'm gonna be here, arms out straight. I'm gonna bend them in, back out. Just like that. They stay parallel with my shoulders. Just bend those elbows in and out. All right, we're gonna do this for 45 seconds. Everybody get ready in three, two, one, here we go. In, out, don't go too fast. Just keep those arms up. Working the shoulder muscles. Good job. Working the chest a little bit. Push through. It's gonna start burning a little bit, but that's okay. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. It's humid out here, I'm sweating. The muscles are tired, but you just gotta push through. No pain, no gain, as they say. Come on. Keep going, almost there. Five seconds, a couple more times. Let's do it one more time, one more, and good job. All right, y'all, we are almost there. We're pushing through, keep going with me. If you're tired, remember, pause the video, get you some water, towel off, but then jump right back on in, all right? This so next one, you're gonna need your cans again. These are called can jacks. So it's kind of a combination of a, a jumping jack with cans. So your cans are here. When you jump up, your legs are gonna go out too. So it's, so it's kind of like a jumping jack, but just added weight and you're pushing up. All right, we're gonna do this for 45 seconds. Get your cans ready. Here we go in three, two, one. See, when your legs go out, the cans go up. Good cardio exercise here. Getting that heart rate up. Come on, everybody, you're not tired. Let's go. Who out there thinks Eugene Tackleberry could do these? I'm thinking he would struggle with these. Maybe when Eugene comes back, I'll see if he can demonstrate some of these for us. Haven't seen him lately. My guess is they just recently opened up a lot of the restaurants 
where you can go sit down and eat. So I think we all know where Eugene is right now. Dining in a restaurant. And stop. All right, y'all, two more to go. We're so close, keep pushing, stick with me. This next one, we're gonna be on the ground. It's gonna be a core exercise. These are called arm and leg extensions. We did these way back, I think in like episode two or three, so you might've forgot. But you're gonna be on the ground like this. I'm gonna reach forward with my left hand, kick back with my right leg, and right, left, just like that. Opposite hand, opposite leg. All right, we're gonna go for 45 seconds. Everybody get down. Three, two, one, here we go. Try to keep that back straight. Let's reach forward, hold it for a second, and then bring it in. Good core exercise. Pushing y'all. Doing a good job. Feels good to break a sweat. Come on. Don't stop. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Come on. Five seconds. Let's do it one more time. Good job. All right, last exercise of the workout. You are almost there, all right? So you're gonna need your cans for this last one. We're gonna pretend like these cans are our jump rope handles, okay? And so when you jump rope, you can turn the cans like that while you jump. We're gonna do it for one minute. So remember when you jump rope, the jump rope's only about that thick, so you don't need to jump high. So pretend like you're on a pogo stick, springing off your toes using those calf muscles. You don't need to jump high when you jump rope, but stand up straight. All right, so get your cans ready. We're gonna go for one minute. Three, two, one. Let's turn those wrists. Spring off those toes like you're a pogo stick. Good job. If you have a real jump rope at home, feel free to use it. Not everybody has one, so we're just pretending today. Come on, rotate those cans. Jump off the ground. You're bouncing up and down like a pogo stick. You're doing a great job, everybody. Come on. I can see the finish line. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and stop. Good job. Great job, everybody. That completes workout number 19 with Coach Foy. It felt great to be back with you working out just me and you like old times. All right, so remember, pause the video, rest like two minutes, and then try to do it again. Try to do it at least two or three times to really get a good workout in, all right? Remember our two quotes for the day? The first one from Joe Girard, the elevator to success is out of order. You'll have to use the stairs one step at a time. So whatever you're doing, no shortcuts, work hard, take it one step at a time and you'll be more successful than having not done it the right way, all right? So do things the right way. All right, and remember my quote for you students out there, for anybody, if you moved any slower, you'd be going backwards, all right? So whatever you do today or whenever, move with a purpose, okay? If your mom or dad or whoever asks you to go get something out of the kitchen, move with a purpose. If you're you know, going for a walk through the neighborhood to get some exercise, Walk with a purpose. Don't go so slow, you like you're going backwards, all right? So move with a purpose, all right? Remember, click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I hope you have a great day. I hope you're feeling fit after doing this, and we will see you soon. All right, y'all, last exercise of the workout. You're gonna need your cans for this one. The cans are gonna pretend like they're our jump rope hurdles. So we're gonna, I mean, handles, let's restart. And then my quote for you, I don't remember what it is. 